In this MathsCast presentation we're going to look at convolution. Convolution is a mathematical operation on two functions, f of t and g of t, creating a third function that can be considered a blending of the two component functions. The convolution of functions is denoted f asterisk g and can be evaluated using the following integral formula. Convolution is quite useful in a lot of software and engineering applications such as image processing. Using Laplace transforms we can compute the convolution of f and g by following these steps. First we get the Laplace transforms of both of the component functions f of s and g of s. Then we multiply these two Laplace transforms and then we find the inverse Laplace transform of the product. Let's look in an example. Use Laplace transforms to compute the convolution of t and t squared. First, compute the Laplace transforms of the two component functions. So the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. That's coming from the tables. The Laplace transform of t squared is 2 factorial over s to the power of 2 plus 1 and that is 2 over s cubed. And now the second step. The Laplace transform of the convolution is the product of the Laplace transforms of the two component functions. So we can say the following. The Laplace transform of the convolution of f and g equals the Laplace transform of f is denoted capital F times the Laplace transform of G which is denoted capital G. Now in the previous slide we found that the Laplace transform of F was 1 over S squared and the Laplace transform of G was 2 over S cubed. So the Laplace transform of the convolution is 2 divided by s to the power of 5. So now the last step. In this step we have to compute the inverse Laplace transform to find the convolution of the two functions. So we have to compute the inverse Laplace transform of 2 divided by s to the power of 5. Now this is in the form k times n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1. Now n plus 1 is 5 so necessarily n is going to be 4. k times n factorial is 2. n factorial is 24 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so necessarily k must be 1 twelfth. We can find the inverse Laplace transform using this relationship which is based on information in the table of formulae. We know that k is 1 twelfth and we know that n is 4 so the convolution of f and g is t to the power of 4 divided by 12.